welcome 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 back to my youtube channel this is info hub if you're a returning subscriber i want to tell you thank you for the love if this is your first time coming across my youtube channel i still want to tell you thank you i bring in information that can help you move abroad to study work and even settle so if these are the kind of informations you like kindly do well to join the growing family by subscribing to this youtube channel it will also be very beneficial if you turn the notification bell so when i release new videos like these you may just be the first to be notified now not so quite long ago the canadian government introduced a very good news that those on a visitor's visa can now switch to a work permit without leaving canada that news was very mind-blowing before we talk more on the issue for today i want to tell you the reason why they did that now back in 2020 when those who entered canada on a visitor's visa were trapped they could not leave canada and also they could not walk because they were on a visitor's visa the canadian government was considered so they decided to implement a new policy that allows those on a visitor's visa to switch to a work permit if they get a job which means as on a visitor's visa you can search for a job so they introduced that policy in 2020 and it was to expire in 2023 but miraculously they decided to extend that policy to 2025 so when they did that there were massive um celebration around everybody was happy everybody knew this was their chance to come to the great canada but amidst all this happiness some people felt left out yes some people felt left out because they feel if they do not have someone in canada they cannot be invited so because of that they felt this pathway is not for me but i'm here to tell you that this pathway is for you even though you do not have anyone in canada this pathway is for you now let's talk about this visitor something as a visitor to any country it doesn't necessarily mean you have somebody there to invite you over all you need to show is that you have something that you are going to visit in the country now let's talk about two ways you can move to canada as a visitor without getting invited by anyone the first way if you have a good travel history and you have money in your account you could search for a show a concert a football match or any event being done in the country get a ticket buy a ticket from outside your country that ticket will serve as your invitation now this could be very very difficult because i know most of you may not have a travel history i may not have much money in your account so let's look at something simple now last year my friend moved to canada as a visitor he did that through a fully funded conference a fully funded conference on hiv aids which means everything was paid for now that conference served as an invitation for him as he moved to montreal that was amazing for him and that is the same thing i want to share with you today you can enter canada on a conference it doesn't have to be fully funded but just get that conference invitation it will serve as the invitation you would have received from someone living in canada so once you get that invitation you can be able to come into Canada as a visitor. But now let me give or let me share some few advice. Coming in as a visitor with the aim of you switching into a work permit when you do get a job is amazing. But you need to keep in mind that first things first, go and check Canada's NOC. That's their National Occupation Classification. And check if your occupation is on that list. If your occupation is on that list, then it shows that your skill is in high demand in Canada. So after doing that, start searching for a job. 
you can start searching for a job immediately you get that invitation for the conference and then when you apply for the for the visa during that time frame just start looking for a job you don't have to wait until you are in canada before you start searching for a job you can even get that job with lmi outside canada then when you come in as a visitor all you have to do is to switch that will be very easy so what i'm going to do with, for you all i would search for conferences even though they are not fully funded and i will drop them in the description box below so you can check them out apply and be able to get that invitation you may pay for some of them while some of them may be free some of them may be fully funded but all we are looking for is that invitation canada are giving visas now this is your chance to come into canada as a visitor so you can switch to a work permit it would also be very beneficial if you share this video with a friend who thinks he has no chance to enter canada as a visitor just because he doesn't have anyone in Canada. Tell him that's a lie. He can come into Canada on a conference and then he can be able to switch to a work permit. And also tell him to check the NOC and see if his skills is part of the occupation list so that he can move into Canada. If you find this video helpful, please do well to like this video to show your appreciation so I can make more videos like this and also so YouTube can recommend the video to others. Also, do not forget to join the growing family by subscribing to this YouTube channel. It would also be very good if you turn on the notification bell so when I release new videos, you'll just be notified.